Namaste. Now we are going to talk more in details about the breakfast. In Ayurveda, we should not take this meal in a hurry. It should not be fast. And it also probably should not mix a lot of things. If you're going to eat ham, please don't eat with eggs. <laughs> okay, let's go easy because uh, probably this is going to be shocking. Shock. Um, one, don't drink uh, milk cold ever. If you're going to mix the milk with flakes, corn flakes, please don't put a lot of things inside it. Just boil the milk, better with some turmeric. Cook these corn flakes there. Put some brown sugar. If you want to put some fat, please put uh, ghee or coconut oil. It can be also avocado oil. Uh, and have a very simple and easy to digest meal with some spices. In Ayurveda, we always eat with spices. I have said this before and I'm going to repeat again soon. <laughs> but uh, it's important to have some different type of meals. One can be this about our cornflakes or oats with milk and it's better to uh, cook them together. The other thing can be bread and uh, some cheese with some uh, oregano, thyme and uh, this kind of green leaves so it will have more easy digestion. But the bread should be whole grain and it should be uh, toasted. It should not be uh, without killing the yeast inside because it's going to spoil your digestive system. So this is another option. You can put bread, you can put cheese. If you can, you please make it uh, hot cheese, uh, not just like um, from the fridge on the bread. If you want to have fruits, please have them separately. Eat just fruits and if you're cold, don't take raw fruits. Cook them. I know that in the West this is not so common, but okay, we can speak more uh, specifically in your consultation. Another option that it's uh, very good to start the day uh, are some um, kind of easily digested po potatoes, pumpkins and all these kind of things that are very earthly with some uh, condiments, with some spices and some oil. This is another type of breakfast. If you want to change uh, the bread because you don't eat uh, gluten and odd stuff, you can have tapioca. Tapioca is very good. In Brazil it's very uh, f easy to find it and it's very good to uh, have the breakfast. It's the indigenous breakfast of Brazil. And if you're in India, if you're in some eastern countries, you can have just like a small lunch, but please don't mix a lot of things. In Ayurveda, yogurt is not a thing to be mixed with muesli and cereals. Yogurt usually is better to take in the afternoon. But if you're going to take yogurt in the morning, please only take yogurt with honey and spices. Some cinnamon, some cloves. There is a kind of uh, uh, group of spices that we call chai, and we are going to specify more in the uh, following videos. But the point is, you should ever and ever mix some bread with some yogurt, with some ham, with some eggs, with some cheese, with some fruits, with some this, with some that. Okay? If you're going to eat ham, don't eat with eggs. And, and you can say, oh, this is my favorite breakfast. Okay. But this probably are going to make your digestive system sick. 
this is very hard for digestion and the bacon's with eggs <laughs> it could be good for a person that was going to uh, put down a lot of trees and uh, uh, slaying the woods and uh, be a very uh, muscular worker but if you're going just to the office and you're going to be seated in the um, computer be careful that your cholesterol are not be uh, easily built up okay in Ayurveda we understand that the digestion of meat and eggs it's difficult cheese also uh, milk also some grains like wet also but the point is that uh, uh, meat it gets easily uh, putrefied in our body because our intestine our big small intestine <laughs> is very big in length we don't have an uh, intestine that is very close to uh, carnivorous uh, animals like dogs, lions and this kind of stuff our small intestine is more uh, similar to vegetarian than to carnivorous uh, animals. This means that if you're going to eat meat you need to eat it properly so it doesn't get uh, putrefied in your body and this can create a lot of diseases including cancer. In Ayurveda we don't need to eat meat every meal. We don't need to meet, eat meat every day. If you like and if you think it's important, it's one thing. But in Ayurveda, this is not a necessity that people say, oh, you're going to feel uh, weak, oh, you're going to... In the West now, it's not so, um, like, uh, seen not to eat meat. Maybe 10 years ago, it was just like, oh, man, you're crazy, you're going to be with, with an iron deficiency, you're going to be this, you're going to be that. Today in the US only the B12 is a thing that uh, usually nutritionists say oh you're vegetarian, be careful, your B12 is going to be problematic. This is not perfectly true because there are a lot of people that eat meat and don't absorb properly B12 and if you don't eat meat there are a lot of things that you can do including taking uh, artificial B12 but the point is Vegetarianism is good for some things and it's not actually a problem to be vegetarian but you don't need to be vegetarian to be healthy. So, coming back to the breakfast if you want to take ham, tuna and uh, meat products in the morning uh, I'm not saying here milk, cheese I'm saying about the meat itself and the eggs is just like semi-meat not, uh, not so problematic for the digestion if you're going to eat eggs you can put some oil uh, in the pan you can put some turmeric and make it scramble and eat it with breads that are um, toasted you can also eat some ham or tuna in this way that it's just like the meat, the bread and the spices. Don't ever mix <laughs> meat with eggs. Okay, if you do this one day you're not going to die. But the point is don't do this regularly because this is going to intoxicate your system most probably. And if you're going to eat cheese, try not to eat with meat because it's difficult for the digestion. Oh, I always like to eat pizza, pepperoni pizza, okay, but don't do this every day, okay? Cheeseburger in Ayurveda, egg cheeseburger is not a good thing for the, uh, your health. Uh, and uh, in Ayurveda, we have a principle that every meal should be delicious. If it's not delicious, it's not a proper Ayurvedic meal. So in Ayurveda for breakfast we can have roots, we can have uh, bread with cheese or ham or eggs or tuna, we can have uh, milk plain with spices or milk 
with some cereals like cornflakes or oats. We can have tapioca, that is a kind of root, if you uh, understand that it comes from the same place. And if you don't have a hunger, you can just be with some tea during the morning. That it's going to help you to feel lighter and it's going to make you feel really hungry. Okay? You don't need to force up you to eat in the morning if you're not hungry. This is a very different concept from the West. But okay, uh, I have already done, uh, have done more than a thousand uh, consultations, counseling in Ayurveda. A lot of people start to feel much better just because they don't eat the breakfast when they don't need to, okay? In Ayurveda, we are always going to look to your body, to your uh, physiological pattern, and uh, understand what is healthy for you, not necessarily for the person uh, that is your husband or wife or neighbor or this kind of stuff. It's for you. Your metabolism is working in a way that it's going to have the tenets that are healthy for you and if it's good for your person besides along with you okay also okay but please don't uh, be like neurotic with vata pitta and kappa stuff i'm purposefully not speaking about these words now because they usually uh, increase the problem in the beginning if the person doesn't understand them correctly. Here, the main point is let's eat with consciousness according to your own uh, needs. Okay? And if you want to uh, have more information about what is going to be suitable for you or not, please contact me uh, from email that I'm going to send you the information and we can start to do this uh, Namaste coaching for you, right? So I see you in the next video after you have shared, liked and commented. Please do so if you want. Namaste.